There's all types of natural sleep aids, all with the same ingredients. I picked up this one for 16 bucks, and it seemed to have all the ingredients the other ones did. I love that it advertises that it's drug free. So the most basic definition of a drug is a chemical substance used in the treatment, cure, prevention, or diagnosis of a disease or used otherwise to enhance physical or mental well-being. Will insomnia no doubt affecting your mental well-being? The box already advertises that it pretty much doesn't work. I know, it's just an attempt to sell it to the health Nazis, but... Is anyone actually going to be fooled? Look at this list of unholy ingredients. I mean, who needs drugs anyways when you got microcrystalline? Look at this confident group of health information distributors. It's got to work. So does it work? Well, several times the recommended dose didn't put me to sleep, but I have a more pure test test if it has any action in putting someone to sleep at all. There's this guy Royal who thinks that smoking banana peels gets him high. I'll believe anything I tell him, so I gave him four times the recommended dose to see if they put him to sleep. I told him that they're energy pills, so if they have any action in being an energy pill, he'll probably tell me. I have to shave off this thing that says sleep. Might give it away. I'll take a... Here, sir, take four of my energy pills. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, they look, oh, they taste pretty good. Yeah, they have a taste coating of sugar. Mm -mm. How do the energy pills treat you? This is they didn't treat me anything. You don't feel a thing off them. And it's been one hour. Nope, sleep MD's bullshit. But how can these guys lie to you? They're doctors for fuck's sake. Come to think of it, haven't I seen that one doctor somewhere before? Oh, I see how it is. Melatonin is a naturally occurring hormone that regulates sleep. When they say regulate sleep, it means it appears in a higher amount when you go to sleep. Melatonin is the main chemical in most natural sleep aids. Tryptophan and serotonin are both thrown in as well. But tryptophan is converted into serotonin and serotonin is converted into melatonin, so we might as well just focus on melatonin. Anybody who's too afraid to take a prescription drug to fall asleep takes melatonin, and I know multiple people who say that it works. Personally, I've never felt it, but I thought up a specific test for this one to see if it has any act of putting someone to sleep at all. I gave them to Royal in an extremely large amount, and I told him that they're energy pills. If they had any effect of making him sleepy, he'd probably know that they weren't energy pills. With any health supplement, there's some controversy whether the actual chemical is in it. So with my unlimited budget, I bought two forms of melatonin and I mixed them together. Just to make sure I was doing a good test that represented melatonin as a supplement as a whole. Alright, here's 10 energy pills. <laughs> they don't taste that bad, I chew them up a lot. So then I called him about an hour later. What up? Hey, you feel anything from the energy pills? No. Nothing? I don't think so. Now there's quite a few scientists who will say melatonin can be ingested orally and has effect. But the thing is, what I'm reporting on is the supplement you're going to buy from the store is not going to work. One thing you'll see quite often in natural sleep aids is a substance called L-theanine. It's naturally in a type of mushroom. It's naturally in a type of tea leaf. I'll save you some time. It doesn't work. I bought it in three different sources. I tested it on three different people. None of them felt anything. I like that this one advertises that it's kava free. Like, don't worry, we don't even have the natural sleep aid that works. You're getting pure uncut placebo with this one. So I mentioned that kava works. It's probably the only natural herb that's ever worked on me. But how does the extract you'll buy at the store stack up to what has worked on me? Well, I'm going to have to find out by testing it on an unknowing test subject. Liberals can tax you for taking a shit. They don't need revenue from cigarettes. I got an experiment for you. Outlaw cigarettes. You, sir, are completely sober, right? Oh, well, I've had a little bit of, uh, well, you don't... today, but yeah, I'm not... A... You're, you're pretty much middle ground, uh, I'm fucking, not... I'm fucking sober. All right, yeah. yeah. I'm going to feed you a drink, uh, that you drink, and it's a test. And um, it may work, it may not. I'm not going to tell you if it's stimulating, sedative, but what it is, if it works, is it's enjoyable. Are you, are you game? I don't even get to know what's in it. Uh, that's part of the experiment. Alright, I'm going to put in several times the active dose. I'm not really trying to find out dosing information, I just know that it's pretty weak, and I want to see if I myself am full of shit. So I have to see if someone else notices it. It's about like a hundred times the amount you're supposed to take. Alright, this isn't double blind, but uh, it's important that someone is blind to it. Um, I'm fucking blind, you got me, man. It looks like milk. 
It doesn't taste good. Alright, well. But it's worth it. Oi! Jesus, Mary, Joseph. Hey, you just wanted me to test something for him, that's all. He took it too. He doesn't, he doesn't, he, it's gotta be a blind test. He doesn't want me to know what it is, cause then- It's gotta be blind, so don't- So my psychosomaticize some of the effects. Anyways. Just so you know, that's the soberest you'll ever see the schizophrenic. Uh, what, what do you feel off that stuff that I gave you? Well, initially I think I felt a little, uh, stimulated, but that could have been just anticipation. Uh-huh. Uh, now I'm starting to feel a little relaxed. Okay. Yeah, I, so I don't know. I guarantee that kava extract you get in, say, a kava bar in Hawaii works, but I guess kava extract that you buy is dick. I've already given my opinion on chamomile. Chamomile sucks. And valerian root. No dice. Both people and internet information alike say some herbs have greater effect in combination. SleepMD claims to have extracts from a lot of these natural sleep aids. I've bought unprocessed passion flower, white widow bark, lavender, valerian root, chamomile, and skullcap. What the fuck? Lemon balm, ashwagandha, hops, and whichever one this one is. And ingested them through tea, both alone and together. I've done this at times when I have been days since using any other drugs to avoid any possible cross tolerance. And I noticed nothing, but not everyone has the same brain and that could just be me. There's the mix of all of them. There's the mix ground up. The way I see it, if I make 10 cups of tea with 10 tablespoons, that would ensure that I get a tablespoon and a cup of tea for each herb that I have. Take this test subject! No. Give me yours. I've seen what happened to Royal. Alright. Mm -hmm. You say so. Mm -hmm. Drink away! Mm -hmm. Oh, it tastes uh, kind of bad. I've had worse. Tastes like peppermint with uh, chamomile and dirt. Yeah. All right. I put a little bit of peppermint in there. Peppermint chamomile. Not enough to destroy the experiment. It's peppermint. Just a tiny bit. Chamomile dirt. That's what it does taste like, and I think those were the ingredients. So pretty accurate at this taste testing thing. Do you want sugar to get down your dirt, sir? Uh, to me, it smells like uh, a really bad. Shut up, non test subject. Really you don't make it in the it show. It smells like really bad. Peas. Cut off. Really bad peas. Like if you left peas out in the sun to kind of spoil, that's what it smells like. Well, you're fucking bad, right. man. Shoot. I can't believe you want me to drink more. This no, guy's had like uh, two and a half cups of tea, and look what he's saying. But it's Say really it, bro. strong fucking tea, man. The, we pretty much extracted all the good stuff, but the still. That, the way that you brewed it was like, like you were brewing nothing but fucking grounds in like a cup of water. That's true, something. the most potent way. But the thing is, you agreed to ten cups, asshole. Ten? Yeah. All right, five. You agreed to five <laughs> cups. All right, well, I just drank about like five or six cups of the tea, but by this time, the taste of all ten tablespoons, it's all been boiled out, so we absorbed everything in those ten tablespoons. How do you feel off this shit, sir? Tired. But you're also, brain is full of shit and lies and propaganda, and that's why you believe these things. It's a goddamn hippie herb. You really think that it's working? I learned it from watching you. It's the most dazed I've ever been. From a couple cups of tea. Hey, shit, maybe. Cool. I'm, I'm fucking tired. Sure. Well, that's why I need other test subjects. I do trust this guy's opinion. Basically, I've worn out every receptor in my head, and with something that's gonna put me to sleep, I'm a fucking ambient crazed fool. None of this shit's gonna work for me. I'm not gonna do an experiment to figure out which combination of herbs actually put you to sleep, but just know, if you put that combination together, and you're not... Someone who takes Ambien all the time, like me, the better drug. And you're gonna be passed out. All these herbs have their share of scientific supporters. A seemingly intelligent neurochemist at a conference that my friend went to, and not a neurochemist like me, a neurochemist who actually went to school for it, said the valerian root was the kind of GABAergic drug that you have to wear down your GABA receptors for a matter of weeks to notice, which I thought that I did. What I've gathered from the science community is that valerian root is pretty much the weakest GABA drug that there is. And that pisses me off that nature freaks recommend it because they have no faith that anything man creates is good. Man was put here to create and we made some damn fine medication. Nature freaks seem not to realize that poison spouts from the earth too. Recommending valerian root is like spitting on every effort mankind makes to improve. Like we should just be content with throwing feces at each other and any attempt to understand the world around us is the devil.